don't know if you could hear that or not. But here's one who's getting ready to J-hang. You can see his little bed of silk that he's made. And here's the other one. He's actually starting to drop down into his J. That's what he'll hang from right there. But that silk extends out a pretty big circle around him. And you can see he's kind of dropping down already. This guy started making his bed a little later. And he's not quite ready yet. And I put some extra mesh. So there's some more decide to make their little, oh, there he goes, he's dropping. So he'll stay like that for about 18 to 24 hours. And then he will shed his skin and underneath will be a beautiful chrysalis. This one's a few hours behind. So by morning he'll be hanging. And I'm not sure how many of these big Big chunky monkeys are going to be hanging tomorrow. But I'm sure more than a few couple will because up until now they've all molted within 24 hours of each other. And here we have three that I separated because they were quite a bit smaller. So I separated them out. Ooh, camera does not like to focus through mesh. But there's one, there's another one right there that you can't really see. And then there's another one right there. If we come around to the other side, we can look through the glass. one, two, and three. And in these two containers, this one was lagging really far behind everybody else, but now I'm wondering if this one's going to be Jay hanging tomorrow. I don't see a bed of silk yet, but we've got lots of food just in case he's just chilling. We're in scoping out an area. And this one I isolated, and you can actually see it through the screen. His black lines are connected by a black line all the way up his back, or her back. So I wasn't sure if this one was sick or not, and figured I would err on the side of caution and keep this one alone. It's probably just a color variation, but as you've seen with the others, their black stripes don't connect through the white. So we'll weigh them back down. And then in here, we have three chrysalides that I've moved, the one closest to the front, the one I'm kind of wiggling a little bit. That one went into chrysalis on the 6th, and the two in the back, those are the ones I got video of going right after the other. So I got a little tag up here with the date that they went in, so I can kind of track who's where and I don't put any that are due to emerge too close to each other because they're going to need a lot of a lot of room to flex those wings. 
but I'm so excited. Good job, buddy. You're almost one step closer to being a butterfly. And this is my bucket of old sticks with all the leaves gone. And I've just been putting them in that container just in case I missed a little tiny caterpillar. I didn't want them to go without food. But I do a head count each time I change the food, so I don't, there's nobody in there. But it's a good example of just how much they eat. And that's not all of them. I've thrown quite a few away. That's the past couple days of stick changing. Who knows, I might wake up in the morning and have a beautiful new chrysalis in there. So we'll see. In the morning, we'll see what's there. Good night, guys. I love you.